Hey guys, this is a video to build a minimum heap, also known as min heap. Um, we have an array here that we want to make a heap. So building a heap from an array of n input elements can be done starting with the empty, uh, uh, starting with a empty heap. So that means there's nothing there; it's completely empty. And then we're going to keep inserting each element from the array. Um, this technique or method is called the Williams method after the guy who. Uh, invented the binary heaps. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first what we're going to do is we're going to add the element 3 to our heap. And we're going to go from top to bottom, left to right. So next up we go left to add our next element which is 1. And because this is a min heap it must follow the property that all of the children are greater than or equal to its parent. So we have to swap these two elements So 3 goes here, 1 goes here, and we'll continue. So next up we have the element 6, so we're going to add 6 here. And 6 follows that property, 6 is greater than or equal to its parent. So next up we continue, we go top down, left, right, so we go to the left here. Uh, we add the number 5, and 5 is uh, greater than or equal to its parent. So we go to the next element, and we have 2. Um, 2 is less than its parent, so we have to swap. So we swap the 2 with the 3. So 2 goes here now, and 3 goes here. And now this 2, we have to also check with this parent, make sure that it's um, greater than or equal to its parent, and 2 is greater than or equal, equal to 1. So we continue, we go to our 4, and we add our 4 here. And now we have another issue, 4 is uh, less than 6, so we must swap the 4 and the 6. 6 here and 4 here, and then check that the 4 is greater than or equal to its parent, which is 1, and it is. So this is our heap. And now how it will look in the array, now that we've done all these swapping of the elements, would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, and 6. So now this is how our, our heap looks as an array. So thank you guys. Uh, please leave likes and comments, and I'll see you all in the next video.